Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm working for Metros. Metrus is manufacturing now for more than 50 years valve test benches and we would like to share our experience with you. Today I would like to introduce you one of our newest developments, the Safety Relief Valve Test Bench SV36150 Lift. SV stands for Safety Relief Valve Test Bench. 36 means we have a maximum clamping force of 36 tons on the clamping table. 150 means the maximum flange diameter I can clamp on this table is DN 150 or 6 inch. And lift means we have the possibility to move the clamping table up and down in accordance to the highs of the safety valve I would like to test. So the electric driven lifting table allows me to adjust to the floor level or even to a maximum height of one meter. Integrated into the lift table is also a special safety device. Means if I'm lowering the table and something will start jamming, the table stops and reverts immediately into the other direction. For clamping the valve onto the table, simply place it on the ceiling head, adjust the clamping cloth to the center position, push clamping on the control panel, and as soon the light turns on, you can be sure that the safety valve is clamped securely. You don't need to take care for the necessary clamping force because this is adjusted proportional with the increasing test pressure due to our automatic ceiling heads. Means for each valve diameter we have a different ceiling head, automatic ceiling head, which can be changed easily, which are stored here on the side from the control panel. Place the other one and then you can go with a different diameter. If you want to test very small valve diameters, which don't allow to clamp with three clamping claws, simply remove one from the initial position and place it into the additional slot, which allows you to clamp also with two clamping claws only. For testing bigger valve diameters, simply remove the small ceiling head and place a bigger one, for example here a DN100, without any tools onto the clamping table. Also here you don't need to take care for adjustment of clamping force because this is going to be realized also by our fully automatic working automatic ceiling heads. So just lower the valve onto the table, place the three clamping claws accordingly on a surface of the flange, push the clamping button and the valve is secured and you can leave it from the crane. Now the operator can adjust the lifting table into the highs where he feels that the adjustment of the set pressure will be comfortable for him. The maximum test pressure for this test bench is 60 bar. Higher test pressures are no problem at all and can be quoted upon request. The necessary test pressure can be provided from an external source, such like a nitrogen bottle or an external compressor, and can be controlled and adjusted to the maximum test pressure for the safety valve via a pressure regulator. to ensure that you won't overpressurize your safety relief valve. As option, you find on this test bench also our computer registration system, the Metro CRS, and additionally also our gauge turret, which allows you a quick change of the measuring range 
without changing the gauge mechanically on the top of the control panel. As this safety relief valve should open at 5 bar, I've selected a measuring range from 0 to 10 bar. I can control now the incoming test pressure with the meter's high precision needle valves and control, meanwhile, how pressure is increasing. As soon as the test pressure will be higher than 0 0.5 bar, the yellow signal lamp turns on and the integrated safety interlock system doesn't allow me anymore to release the clamping force from the table. Now I can increase the test pressure as long as necessary to achieve the set pressure. In this case, the valve should open at approximately 5 bar. So we opened here at 5.1. Can reclose the needle valve, open the release valve, and release the test pressure. Now the yellow signal lamp turns off and the test is done. To generate a test certificate of the safety relief valve, we can use also our Metro's CRS software. Means I push here on start. We are waiting now for a pressure trigger. Open the needle valve to increase the test pressure. Measuring will start automatically on the CRS software. I can identify the ramp rate how fast the pressure increases. As soon I have achieved the set pressure, which had happened right now, I close the incoming needle valve. Pressure will drop a little bit until we have achieved this reseat pressure. When the test time has reached, the result is shown here in the graph, but as well as test result here on the sidebar. To perform a seat leakage test, you need to close the outlet of the safety valve with a rubber plug and connect this one with our laser bubble counter on a quick coupling. I go to 4.5 bar, which is approximately 90%. And in case there would be a leakage and occur a bubble in my bubble counter, it will be shown down here in the display and the computer is going to calculate what does it mean, how many bubbles this could be within one minute. And as soon both tests have been finished, I can generate a test report and print it to a printer or generate a PDF file to be stored on a computer or in your network. It doesn't matter if you would like to test smaller or bigger valves. The SV36-150 lift makes it easy for you. I would like to send a special thank you to our good customer Götze Armaturen because they have been so kind to provide us this nice stainless steel safety relief valves for this video. Understand that this video is not replacing the machine manual. Please respect at any time the safety regulation in your surrounding. Please stay safe, over and out. Excellent.